Hello and welcome to this vlog which is about the British Association of Social Workers annual general meeting and to try to demystify some of the language and some of the, um, the ways in which the annual general meeting happens. My name is Jerry Nasowska and I'm the chair of Basel UK at the moment and I'm here with Anne and Camelia. If you could introduce yourselves. I'm Camelia, I'm co-opted director in, in Basel Council and I'm also a social worker with Looked After Children in London Borough of Camden. And I'm Anne Moyer, I'm a social worker based in Northern Ireland. I'm on the Northern Ireland Committee and I represent them at the UK Council. Great, and my understanding is that you've got some questions to ask about the annual general meeting, so go ahead. So firstly, what is an AGM and who attends? As well as a membership organisation has to have an annual general meeting every year um, and that meeting is for two reasons. One is for people who are leading in Basworth to report to members about what's happened over the year. Um, so, for example, about the finance, about the business plan, about our campaigns and things that we've done over the last year. And the other reason is so that members can ask us questions and scrutinise things and tell us what we should be doing for the year ahead. Um, so all members for Basworth can attend. And what is a motion? A motion is a proposal that members bring to the annual general meeting, which is usually about something that Basworth should do. Um, so it's, it's like a lobbying statement. Um, something's important, so we want Basworth to act on it. Mm. So what kind of things could I submit a motion about, Jerry? Anything really that's to do with Basworth's vision and mission. So anything that's about strengthening social work, um, helping social workers or promoting social justice. And last year we had a lot of motions around um, equality, diversity and inclusion. So we had some anti-racism motions, uh, motions around professional development and education about gender identity and work with gypsy, Roma, traveller communities, for example, but also some motions around recognising the contribution of a Basel member, um, supporting the Benevolent Trust. So it's, it's a bit of a, of a variety, really. Okay, and then who would then vote on a motion? All the members who um, either go to the annual general meeting or who submit a proxy vote in advance can vote. So if you weren't able to get to the meeting but you wanted to vote, um, then you can let us know and someone will cast your vote on, on your behalf. Okay, and if a motion's agreed, what happens after that? So once the motion's put forward, the first thing that happens is that Basford Council, which is the Board of Directors, has a look at it and just makes it as it um, works with the proposer to make it as inclusive as possible. So, for example, to see if it can apply across the United Kingdom, because sometimes we get motions from a particular country, um, or to see how we can make it um, accessible um, or, or um, promote equality more. Sometimes we get motions that are um, very similar and we make a composite motion, so we put them together into something more um, powerful. Um, but then if it if it's voted on at the annual general meeting, um, it, it goes to council again for us to act on or for us to decide what we're going to do um, about it because council's responsible for that. So we would make a plan um, looking at which part of Basel would be most likely um, to be able to advance the motion and, and do some work on it um, and how we can bring it into our business plan. And then we also uh, are responsible for reporting back to the proposer, the person who put it forward um, every, you know, at least a couple of times through, through the year and then back to all the membership um, at the annual general meeting again. Okay, so who can submit a motion and what's the deadline for doing so? Um, any group of members can submit a motion. So there needs to be 20 people, someone to propose it and someone to second it, and then 18 more people. Um, a committee can put forward a motion and a branch can as well. And um, once it comes forward um, and the wording's agreed with council, then it goes out to members um, in the, it's published to members before the annual general meeting. So people can then um, ask for any changes or suggest amendments to it um, as well before the annual general meeting. So if I were to submit motion as a proposer, how do I find 18 or 19 other Basel members? Very often motions do come through from committees or branches because they're already groups of members who get together. Um, but you could uh, look at doing it through 
the people that you know from um, being part of BASWA. Um, you could look at um, contacting a branch um, in your local area to say, this is really important, could you support me with it? Um, I think you could also, if you wanted to use BASWA Facebook to suggest something, um, there was a Facebook page for us um, and people would you know, join up to that that group and could maybe suggest something there. That's not happened before, but I don't see why it shouldn't be possible. Um, group um, Members also do communicate a lot on Twitter. Um, so that's another way for people to kind of get to know each other virtually and maybe put something forward that way. So what's a proposer and a seconder? Proposer is the, um, the named member who says, this is the motion that we want to submit. Um, and the seconder is the named person who seconds it. Uh, so if, um, if I wanted to do something with you, Camelia, it would be proposer Jerry Nasowska and second to Camelia Chabry, but it would be, um, so our names would be on it. Um, similarly at a branch, usually it's um, the chair and the vice chair, or it might be two other members who would put something forward. Um, it's important because I think partly because it's ownership, um, but also at the meeting, at the annual general meeting, each of the motions that's introduced, um, for members to vote on is introduced by the proposer um, and then the seconder. So again, if it was our motion, I would get up at the annual general meeting and I'd have a couple of minutes to explain why I'd brought it and to let people know why it was important. Um, and then you would say a few words as well, Camelia, and then, um, then other people have the opportunity to ask us questions or to make comments. And then we have the opportunity to respond before the vote. Um, what we've done last year and what we'll do again this year is the proposer and seconder will be asked to pre-record their introduction because then people can watch it beforehand and know a bit more about the motions before they come along to the meeting and it also takes a bit of the stress off if you're not really um, used to speaking in front of people um, or if your IT might not work or that kind of thing. So is there a format or a template that can be used? Yes, and I think there's two two ways of um, two things that might help. The first is to think um, a kind of rough format is um, two kind of paragraphs, usually quite short motions because um, they need to. It's easier for people to vote on something that's quite clear and, and quite short. So the first paragraph would be introducing the issue. Um, so something like. Um, this issue is really important um, because of the impact it has on social work in this way. And then the second paragraph would be, therefore, we want BASWA too. And then it's quite useful to have a bullet, few bullet points that say exactly what you want BASWA to do. Um, and again, it's really helpful if that's kind of linked into the sorts of things that we tend to do, like campaigning, um, providing professional development support or support to social workers, those kind of things. Um, but if you want to go on the BASWA website, which is baswa.co.uk, you can search for um, motions and you'll see the ones from the last year and the year before. So you can, you can use those as a guide. Um, and the other thing that you can do is you can contact governance at baswa.co.uk to help you out. Um, if you get stuck on in it, you know, about anything to do with motions. Thanks. Thank you so much for your questions. Hopefully that all made sense to people. Yep, really, helpful. Sense. Take really helpful. Thanks, Jerry.